Pickering. Pickering. You're a public official, aren't you? Okay, first of all, the business is here with the owner. And she invited me here. Yes, but I have no business with you, ma'am, but all due respect. And all due respect, I'm just here for my friend. Yes, well, if you don't mind, just the conversation is between her and I, and I'd appreciate it if you don't um, interfere. I, I, I'm more than courteous and explain to you that uh, you cannot tape my ID. Okay. U.S. Title Code 18, sir. Yes, she can. She, I can show her my ID. Then can she write it down? It's a felony. If you tape my ID, that's a federal... Wait, wait, wait. A, it's a felony? Yes, it she is. She tapes your ID? Yes, it is. How? What, under what code? Could you give me that? Can you, can you, um, can you ask, uh, um, uh, uh, Elizabeth, yeah. Yeah. If she can contact, uh, yeah, she can't tape her ID. I'm sorry. So I was explaining, Gina, so we have <clears throat> five mixed adults. It's referring to the chickens, of course. At 14, at $70. Hey, we've got two. $20, that's 40 Oh, wait. Sure, hold on. The dog, I don't want your dog to get, get out. Get out. Get out. Get. I don't want the dog to get hit. I'm sorry. Hey, hey Hecker. All right, here you go. So I need you to put your... You, please don't. Please don't do that. Sir, I have consent to be on this property, and this is a public street. I'm nervous. I'm very nervous. Yes, well, I can see why you're nervous. No, because you guys scare me. There's no reason why I should. There's no speed. Why are you here? Help. I ask what you're helping them with, because I'm I'm not armed, and you can run me. No comment. No comment. I've already. Are you? Ma'am, are you going to sign these without her uh, taking the camera? Well, I want to read it. Yes, but I, I, if you don't mind telling her to just step aside, step back, I'll be happy to give you the documents. Well, she's going to record you. Well, she can record me. Okay. She can record me, but I'm asking her very politely not to record what you're going to sign. Here we go again. So I'm going to ask you to sign these two. Whatever you want after I give you the copy, okay? Please put your... I'm going to ask you politely again if you can step back with your phone. I don't want this being signed while I'm being uh, filmed, why I'm uh, being recorded, that is, while she's signing it. She wants to show it to you. If you want to show it to her, you're more than welcome to do that. May I so, read again, it? you can read it. As I explained to you, take your time. I need your initials. I need you to sign. I need you to write on the bottom. If she chooses to have a counsel take a look at this, can she mail this form back to you? Uh, well, often people like to, you know, before they are. As I said, I'm dealing with a good owner. If you want to, if you want to talk to her after I leave, you're more than welcome to consult. Okay, then Gina, what I would suggest is letting an attorney read over problem. that first. The business between myself and, and, and her. Well, please step back with your phone. I'm on her Can property, you ask sir. Her? I don't want. Her, uh, Mrs. Cruz, are you going to sign the documents? I'm, I want to show an attorney. Okay. Then I need the document back. Why can't she have a copy of it? She can have a copy. Are you but you're forcing copy? her to sign it. That's coercion. Something, sir. Sorry, that's a contract. I want to read that. it first and show an attorney you? and then sign it. Okay. We can model that and just have, have them call her back and then they can send it to her. She wanted to pay before she signed it. Okay. Say that again. Yeah, it's fine. We'll just have them call you back or something. And if you want a copy, they can email it to you. They'll come back and they'll just talk to you. Okay, okay. it's fine. You don't have to. It's fine. We'll just let them know in the office. It's fine. It's fine. They, they could call her back and then they, they could take it from there. Fine. Can I see your IDs? Oh, yeah, but she. Just memorize the name, Gina. Memorize the name on it. Something, sir. That's a contract. I want to read it first and show an attorney. You and then sign it. Okay. We can model that and just have have them call her back and then they can send it to her if she wanted to pay before she signs it. Say that again. Yeah, it's fine. We'll just have them call you back or something and if you want a copy, they can email it to you and they'll come back and they'll just talk to you. Okay, okay, it's fine. You don't have to. It's fine. We'll just let them know in the office. It's fine. It's fine. They, they could call her back and then they, they could take it from there.
trying to pursue food. Can I see your IDs? Okay, you want my name? Oh, yeah, but she... Just memorize the name, Gina. Memorize the name on it. Basically, what they were doing was they're trying to get Gina to force a, uh, a form. Um, as you can see, he was giving her a very short window of time to try to review the form. It sounds like it was going over prices of what they want to pay her for her chickens. But I can assure you, I kind of heard something of $116. And I'm going to tell you right now, on the sentimental level of this, especially for their younger boy, those birds were worth closer to like millions of dollars, not 116 That's an insult. <laughs> okay, check this out. That back door, the hatch was closed. I reminded him like five times uh, or more. Make sure you spray his feet too because he was out, you know, and this disease is so contagious. Okay, so now he's spraying the chip. Okay, I almost have to laugh. This is so comical. I can't make this up. So the disease is so bad. He sprays his stuff. Then he goes to his car. Then they go on Facebook and they hear me. And then... <laughs> And then I tell him to not forget the Chippy's car, and now he's spraying the Chippy's car.